God's going to be cool. Mm-hmm. So, it's been good. I've just been getting good at just scalping, basically, like, setting up charts and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, that's it, pretty awesome. It works. Once I, once I butt my account up and was able to uh-huh. take bigger lot sizes, yeah. I can take 20 pips and make 200 bucks, you know? I usually set my stops yeah. about 10, 15. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then I'm good to go. Good, good, good. That, that makes a difference when you add some it, capital, doesn't it? It, it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I got, at first, I got a little carried away. <laughs> I, see, I, got, I didn't blow my account up, though. I got lucky and just broke even. But it was a good, like, two weeks where I was just going in. Yeah. Big losses, big wins. I was just like, oh, shit. I need to calm down. <laughs> this is what everybody was talking about. <laughs> yeah, kind of smooth it, smooth it out a bit, right? Yep. And it's been working. Smooth everybody yeah, yeah. Like when I when I know awesome. something's right, when I know something's right, and I'm for sure, is I'll put a bigger lot size if I'm kind of on the edge, but I have like a gut feeling. I usually like cut it by half. Because if I cut my lot sizes by half, I can make my stops longer, and then my take profit points higher. Okay. I use I use smaller lots for the swings, and then the bigger lots for the scalps. No, is this something that you you are now doing, or did you do this? Did you you did did you do this before, or this is something you implemented now? Um, before well, before I started with this group, I was doing it, but I was doing it with smaller lots. I was just doing like five to ten pips at a time. Okay. And then I, was, I, I got used to the whole, like, the trend following thing and then using the system for longer trades. And then since I okay. left, and I, when I was in Japan, I wasn't able to use it at all because the Internet's been intermittent, so I didn't yeah, have that's connection. What I, thought. I, thought you were, I thought you were in Japan. Yeah. Yeah, I was. So too. you're not in Japan now, and you're in Turkey now. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So basically, I just... I just practiced basically. I just stopped trading for a little while and just okay. still wrote out, wrote out all. I kept a little journal, wrote out all my trades, put in uh, buy stops, sell stops, buy limits, sell limits, stuff like that. Yeah. And then just documented everything until I got to the point where it was making sense and being profitable. So how, like so how many pips? So you said you're doing more, a little bit of trend following now. So you you getting more, yeah. you getting more for pips. The, yeah, well, for the for the longer trades, the trend following is what I do, mm-hmm. and yeah. even for my scouts, the trend following is what I do. If if the overall scope of the market and time between the one hour chart all the way down to the 15 is in an uptrend, mm-hmm. in that fucking you know that upward path, I yeah. only place long. I only place long trades. Because the long trades are longer than the short ones, and then vice versa. So basically, what I do is, yeah. So basically, what I do is I set my, I set my up, upper like my support, my resistance, based off the ranges. Okay. And then I draw my I draw my channels from there. Very smart. <clears throat> so you only take long trades. So you you find the pairs that are trending long. No, no, no. I trade I trade long and short. Okay, but I okay. trade I trade based off the channel they're in. If they're in an up channel, okay. I trade them long. If they're, in, if they're in a down channel, I trade them short. Okay. And then once we have a breakout, depending on how what happens after that, because I mean I don't I don't trade just because like um, <clears throat> it broke out. I wait for some, okay. some type of confirmation, okay. some type of like passing of the fucking um resistance level or the support level and then a retest and then make sure it doesn't close above or below that and then go from there. So basically I've got I've gotten a lot more patient. <laughs> What's that? that? What did you say? So I've gotten a lot more patient. <laughs> That's the key, before right? I was like I'll before I was like, it's going up, boom, bye. It's going down, boom, sell. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was basically just getting lucky. Breaking even. Now you're waiting. You're waiting for the setups, and you're waiting oh, yeah. to uh, show you show you the direction. Yep. Now I realize that there's a lot of clutter on the lower time frames. Yeah. So I only use them to define like 
if I can't find if I can't find some type of pattern in the one hour is when I'll go down yeah. lower. But I like to stay between I start I start off in the day and I work my way down. If I can okay. stay in the four, I stay in the four. But if not, then I'll go down from there. And then the scalps, I basically build my charts from the day down to the four. Okay. Then I go straight to the 15. And then just play off that. So I've been using uh, trading view. Trading view, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. With the uh, the Odanda, Odan, Odana charts, Odana, yes. whatever yeah. that broker is. I've been using their charts because that first chart that always popped up, I didn't realize this until someone pointed it out to me. <laughs> it's way different than all the rest of them. I think it's like oh, IDK, ID something. Yeah, when you first type in the currency pair, if you look yeah. at that chart versus the Odanda and the uh, Forex.com and uh, I think the FXCM, uh-huh. That very first one. That very first one is completely different than the rest of them. To me, the rest of them are more like they give you more information. Okay. Which is odd that I didn't even consider. I thought they would all just be the same. So you, so you, so you, 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 you feel that you're becoming more consistent, more consistent yes. already. Yeah. And it's just it's all due to patience and then risk management. Because like what I tried to do before was just jump in without taking everything in. You know, I thought that was like I could just do one way and that's the only way, but it's not. Yeah. I had to realize that there's waiting, certain ways to do things. Is, yeah, waiting certain ways is to, important. Yeah, there's certain ways to do things in certain market conditions. <clears throat> like until I started actually looking at charts during the day, I didn't realize how much it fluctuated. <laughs> like especially with the news, like I learned with the news, like a little trick that I learned with the news is uh, whenever there's news coming out on a certain pair, you go to like a FX Street, it gives you a yeah. whole economic calendar, mm-hmm. and um, it tells you what pairs will be affected by certain news that are done, how how much they'll be affected. So whenever I see Plus stuff like that, yeah. yep, and I know there's going to be some type of jump, I'll I'll go to that chart that day. <clears throat> And at the opening of the market, I'll probably wait like one or two hours before uh-huh. the news comes out, and I'll look at the highs and the lows, and I'll place orders uh-huh. like five pips above the high and five pips below below the lows. Okay. For 20 pips each, both ways. And then I'll let the news hit, and as soon as it fucking shoots, like, <laughs> my order gets filled within like five seconds. Wow. Yep. So you're using, you're using the system as a gauge? You're using the system as a gauge? Uh, well, not well, – yes. I, yes. Okay. As a whole, yeah. For my, for my longer-term trades, I use the system. Okay. Because when it does when – the, when the, the thing that I do like about it is that when the market does, like, start moving, it tells uh-huh. me immediately. You know? It's not like I have to sit there and cycle through these. Because what I have to do when I'm actually, like, day trading – I have like okay. six pairs that I'll, that I'll mess around with throughout the day, but I have to cycle mm-hmm. through them. What I like about the system is I can have all the pairs on my like watch list going at the same time, and then whenever one of them starts to move, uh-huh. it notifies me. It, like, it tells me, so I can go look at the chart and like, okay, cool, we're good to go. You know? That's smart. Yeah. Yeah. So That's it works cool. out. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So, um, I mean, so you've had a good week. So yeah. I'm sure you're looking forward to next week, huh? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, majority of the stuff that I was trading this week has been up, like going up hard, like hard like I've never seen before, only because I'm I'm still kind of new to this, so I haven't really watched the charts like I have been recently. And it's starting to turn, so I'm like, all right. Probably gonna be end up going short next week. <laughs> <laughs> the majority well, of things, um, except for oil. Oil is going up. Oh, okay. And you traded that? I mean, if you want to, it's kind of a pain in the ass because it moves fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you looked at the charts for oil? What's that? 
Have you looked at the charts for oil? No, I haven't. Well, we oh, have, we have a long term. Yeah, we have a, a yeah. daily uh, a daily chart. We look we look at yeah. uh, for gold, if, and it's been uh, it's been short for a while. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at the what's uh, the one I'm looking at is the UK oil. Okay. It just it jumps around like it skips. I've I've just never seen that before. I'm not used to it. Today is the first day I ever looked at it. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> and then gold's a pain in the ass. Because it was short for most most of the week, and I had trades in for all of them, and they all got stopped out, and then continued oh, downward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the reason why I fucked up on Thursday, because I placed that trade and I put a bigger stop than I normally would. I mean, I used a smaller lot size, but I placed the stop way past what I normally would do, just because I was like, well, I, I can't keep trading like this. Obviously, if I'm gonna start trading swings, they're gonna come up and they're gonna come back down. Okay. So, yeah, I just got shafted on that one. <laughs> so when, you're, when you start trading swings, what time frame? What time frame are you looking at trading on? Uh, well, I, I put my baseline on the day chart, and then I okay. trade the four four hour. The four, the four hour. Good. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Good job. Good yeah. job. There's less, there's less noise. There's not. There's not a bunch of random stuff going on. Yeah, I mean, more, I, I, took my, um, I took my stops a little farther back, but I just use smaller lot sizes. But it's more consistent, you know. You sound like a pro, man. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, learn, like, I learn pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, you sound like you sound like a, a pro. You sound like you've been doing this for a while. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. Um. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep you long, um, but that's I'm good. That, I'm that's, good if you're good. Yeah, that's uh, that's great, man. Um, what are your goals? What are your goals here? What are you What are you? Uh, where, where do you see yourself? Your trading going? I'll just keep growing my account. Get more consistent. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I'd like to learn. I like to learn how at least three of the pairs move consistently. Cause I, know, I know like each one of them has their own behavior. And right now I'm just firing from the hip. I just open up a chart and then I go from there. I just analyze it. But I know if I figure out how they actually work, it'd be easier for me to like make a decision faster. <laughs> but I mean, I'm, all I really want to do is just grow the account. That's your goal. This, this made yeah, this made more sense to me than investing in actual stocks. Because I can only buy actual stocks, and if it ever crashes or something random happens, and I just lost all that money for no reason. At least with this, I can control it somewhat. Yeah, I mean, if if, if yeah, if there is a correction or a crash, those those pairs, yeah. you, I mean, you're gonna do be much better. You'll have a, oh, yeah. just a ton of volatility, right? Yeah. And, like, I, at first I wanted to be like, oh, I want to make all this money doing this, and then, you know, I don't have to work and just, you know, the whole the whole lifestyle thing. But I've come to realize you can't just – you can trade if you want to and just do that, but you have to be good enough to take on other people's accounts so you can actually make money off of it. Like you can make money for yourself, but you need to compound that money by making money off other people. <laughs> so you either, you either manage their accounts – or you sell people a product and or advice and or signals or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> and it works because people are always looking. And once they find something that works, then they don't have to do anything, they're good to go. <laughs> so all I, gotta do is, all I gotta do is get good at it. And then maybe I could manage a couple of accounts and just chill eventually. But it's not yeah, something that it's not something I'm just like, oh, I'm going to get super rich off this and not have to do anything anymore. Like, I know that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unless, I mean, you that's get, the, um, unless you get lucky. That's what's awesome about it, right? As you develop as a trader, you um, you can self start helping other people, right? Oh, yeah. Um, become better at, at, at trading. And uh, just, you know, helping them improve. Um, their lifestyle or their goals, and that's awesome that you're thinking that way. 
Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I mean, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, I'm proud of you, man. You're doing a good job. Just keep it up. And um, you have a have a great, great week. What time is it over there now in Turkey? Uh, 129. Or no, it's a, my bad. 119. 119. Um, in AM? Yep. AM. Oh, man. You got to get some sleep. Oh, no. I'm off next year. You're doing good. <laughs> It's uh it's six nineteen here in um oh, yeah. in Florida, yeah, in Orlando, six nineteen PM. Well, I appreciate you staying up. Hey, have proud of you, have a great great trading week next week. And um you have a big if you have a big um a big trade post it. Post it for us, man. Let's uh see how you're doing on the chat, okay? Okay. Is it is that okay now? You know I'm not Yeah, using absolutely. Chat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I knew I knew before it was it was frowned upon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, <laughs> yeah, we want to we want to see we want to see uh, those successes, man. Okay. Okay. That works. All right, but hey, congrats, man. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.